So EA have just delighted us with their 21st anniversary update, which basically includes 21 free new items, which is great. It's amazing. And we're going to be looking at that today. But, but it always comes with a book with EA. But today there's also a very, very bad thing which has happened, which is another cash grab by EA, which, who, it's Sega. I'm trying to do a video. Okay, sorry. As we all know, EA love cash grabs, and here we have another Sims cash grab. I just feel like every bit of good news always comes with a bit of bad news too. But first, let's look at the good stuff, and then we can complain about the bad stuff later. So this is my first time loading up the game since the updates come out, so I'm really excited to show you guys all these items. If you don't know, all of these items have been made by CC creators themselves. So I know we got a few items in cast, so I'm just going to show you guys a couple of cast items that we got. And regrettably, we didn't actually get any cast items for men, which we never, ever, ever really get. And I don't know why we don't get them, but um, there we go anyway. We just got a few for women. As you can see, there's just a little icon next to it that says designed by A. Harris series of Brittany, which I assume is a Twitter handle or something. As you can see, we got some high-waisted jeans, which a lot of people have been complaining about for ages. So I'm really glad that we've got some finally. And of course, we've got a lot of really nice swatches for these, and they look like really really high quality. You can tell these were done by CC creators and not by Maxis because these are too high quality to be done by Maxis. We also got a crop top as well. Now, arguably, we do already have enough crop tops. However, I think this one's quite nice. It does look really good. I don't have a problem with it. I, I don't really understand women's fashion, but um, there you go if you like that stuff. Just to confirm to you guys as well, we also got some new lipstick, which was designed by Grim Cookies, who is a really good, actually, crap cast CC creator. I don't know. As I told you guys before, I know absolutely nothing about lipstick and things. But I think that this one is really, really high quality. Definitely better than the MAC ones that we've got anyway. <laughs> I actually saw in the trailer as well that we got something from Toddlers, but I can't actually find anything. I don't know if it has an updated property in my game, but apparently we got a Toddler outfit which didn't show up. So um, I'm going to have to go back and check that one out again. Whoops. We also got some new skin details, which as you can see, we just got these little eye wrinkles here. They're very subtle, but for those who want them, you can have them there, which is something that we have actually been missing for a long time. So it does make a lot of sense that we got something like that now. And these were designed by Lumia. But anyway, let's go have a look at the build by items. Now, these are probably some of the best build by items we've ever had. Just because they're so simple and cool, I really want to show you guys. Let's just jump into it now. So as you can see, this stuff is literally categorized by these little icons here, which have a gift next to it. So this chair was designed by Hey Harry. So it was a bar store. We're going to look at both of these. So of course, the build by is where I like all of this stuff. So here you can see we've got this nice table and chair set. We've got a four seater one and we got a six seater one and as you can see from the swatch list we just have so many swatches as well these are absolutely great i'm really really happy that we got all of these swatches with it all sorts of browns and beiges all which i know will match with all of my other furniture because i know all the shades off by heart by now it just seems very well done we also got a nice bar stool which you can't have too much of we got again lots of different colors whenever they're cc there's always so many different colors with them and then we also got some bedroom things so we've got this nice nice wardrobe, which again comes with so many different colors. I think this one is really cool, actually. We only got a couple of browns, which you know, is kind of disappointing because I like to see more browns. But for the most part, these are really, really cool. This works so well in like a modern lofty cell room. I'm really excited to use this. We also got this really, really nice table thing, chest of drawers, whatever. Again, with some really, really cool swatches. I'm really excited to use all these in my game. And then we got this nice little vase as well, which just comes with some flowers. This is probably my favorite build by item actually, which is this cloud mirror. I think it looks really, really cool. First, I thought it was the emoji poop because it does look a little bit like the emoji poop, but no. It is a cloud and it's got like a heart smiley one and a sad one, which I think is really, really cool. In terms of how I would use the sad one, I don't know. I'd have to be really creative with that, but it's a really cool idea anyway. But these are the only built by items that I could find. Maybe there's more, I don't know, but these are honestly the only ones I could find in my game. So it is safe to say that we got a lot of stuff in that update. However, that is not the only announcement that we had. We also got another announcement, which is that we're finally getting bunk beds. That's right, seven years down the line and they finally decided to give us bunk beds after years and years of moaning. That's how long apparently it takes EA to deal with things. You know, it took EA six years to deal with the skin tones issue. Now it's taking them a lot longer to finally deal with the bunk beds issue. Am I upset? Yes. Am I also very happy though? Yes. If they gave us cars, I would have been even happier, but bunk beds are a great start. For all we know, it might not actually be bunk beds because all we actually got was this silhouette of an image saying coming soon. You know, for all we know, it might just be a double couch or something. We have no idea. So now it's time to get on with the bad news. Now that bad news is EA have 
found another way to steal our money. Well, technically it's not stealing for legal reasons, but they found another way to make money off us, which is called kit packs, which are basically micro stuff packs. That's right, if stuff packs didn't contain enough stuff as it is, they're giving us even smaller packs now, which are probably gonna be even worse value for money, allegedly. And by the way, the guys, these are the toddler stuff made by Story Legacy Sims. As I told you, I couldn't find it in my game. I don't know why, maybe that's an error. Hopefully they'll sort it out soon, but this is the new stuff that we got with it anyway. As you can see, we've got three kits here, Bust the Dust, Throwback Kit, Country Kitchen Kit. As you can see from these screenshots, it just contains some small things. So this one kit pack, contains a hoover, that means vacuum cleaner if you're American by the way, and it contains some dirty floors so we can make our floors dirty and clean them again. We then got a country kitchen pack. Half of the stuff in this screenshot is actually stuff that's already in base game, however some of it is a new kitchen set. And then we've got some new fitness outfits which are here. Now honestly, I don't get these. Firstly, the new kitchen set, we don't need it because we already got the modern day kitchen stuff stuff pack. We don't need these fitness clothing things because we already got the fitness stuff stuff pack. And although we don't have a vacuum cleaner, arguably. I'm sure we do have a robot vacuum cleaner which came with the university pack, but regardless, we did have the laundry day stuff pack, which is kind of similar. It adds just that little bit of life to your game. I remember when game packs were first announced for The Sims 4, which were very new to the franchise. Everybody was very confused as to actually what they were, but then as time went on, people started to really appreciate them, and now they're one of the best kinds of packs that people enjoy. So I don't know what's going to go on with this system. It seems like they're trying to replicate The Sims 3 store system System where they basically have microtransactions in the game. I am praying we don't get microtransactions in The Sims 4. These kits seem like they are going to be microtransactions and I am very, very upset about by that because The Sims and microtransactions just do not work. Nobody liked The Sims 3 store when it came out. It was an absolute waste of money. And if you haven't played The Sims 3, we would constantly get pop-ups saying, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this, so many microtransactions. And I'm really, really hoping that they don't do that with The Sims 4. I'm really praying it doesn't go down the same same route. This is one of the most disappointing pieces of news because it just seems like they can lazily put a few objects together, chuck it in a kit pack and make us pay some money for it. I don't know how they're gonna make us pay for it, but we're obviously gonna have to pay a little bit less than a stuff pack at least. From what I've gathered based on people's reactions on Twitter, most people are reacting negatively to these. Some people have argued, well, if you don't want it, you don't have to buy it, which I totally agree. I haven't bought most of the Sims 4 stuff packs because I simply don't want them. You don't have to buy it if you don't want it. It's as simple as that. I'm just really, really hoping that they don't advertise all of these new kit pack products in game like they did with The Sims 3, because if they do it in a microtransaction cash grabby way like that, I will not be very happy. But anyway, that's my opinions. Let me know your opinions down in the comment section below. Other than that, thank you so much. See you next time.